No one is responding. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> this is a statement by the Azimio Bipartisan Dialogue Team, uh, comprising myself as chair, co-chair Otiende Amolo, Senator Ledama Olekina, Senator Edwin Sifuna, Senator Eno Kwambua, Honorable Milio Diambo, Honorable David Kosin, Honorable Amina Mnyazi. We, the team put together to spearhead dialogue on behalf of the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition, have had various meetings, including this morning, to prepare for the onset of the talks. We individually and collectively thank our principals and colleagues in the coalition for the great honor bestowed upon us and assure the coalition and our supporters and the general public that we will do our very best to ensure we achieve the set goals. We reiterate the commitment by the coalition and this team to an honest, open, and genuine dialogue that will result in meaningful change in the lives of the people of Kenya. We will give every effort to find answers to the four main issues as framed by the coalition, namely, uh, namely a reduction in the cost of UNGA, electricity and fuel, forensic audit of the IBC servers, bipartisan reconstitution of the IBC, and respect for de democracy and party discipline. We reiterate our readiness and commitment to the process, but decry the delay exhibited by our Kenya Kwanzaa counterparts. We note the delay in naming the seven members of the team, and up to now, note that they have, they have not named the co-chair, leaving us at a loss as to whom to engage. As a further demonstration of our commitment, we hereby announce as follows. One, we have prepared a draft framework of engagement to guide the process and await to engage on the same with our counterparts. Two, we have appointed the following as assisting counsel. First, Professor Makao Mutua, and second, Honorable Jeremiah Kioni. Three, we have appointed Advocate Paul Mwangi to act as Joint Secretary. We note that our counterparts have named Honorable Adan Kainan as part of their team. Honorable Kainan is a member of Azimio. The issue of party discipline is one of the four cardinal issues on the table, and his inclusion is in bad faith, unlawful, and intended to delay the process. We therefore request our counterparts to reconsider and replace Honorable Kainan so that we can move with speed. This is an extra-parliamentary process initiated by the principles of Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance. We urge our counterparts to accept the text and spirit of the Constitution of public participation, consultation, and inclusivity in such processes, signed by the team of the Azimio Bipartisan Dialogue Team. And the statement will be shared to you and with you. If there's any question, we can take. Just a few questions. We can't hear you. Apollo, we've just explained in the statement that we do not know who to engage. Until they name their co-chair, we wouldn't know who to approach. We are waiting for them to name their co-chair then we can reach out. Any questions? Uh, no, we cannot share it with you. In such talks, whenever you have such talks, there are talks about talks. That draft framework of engagement, we have prepared it so that when we meet the other team, we, they will also be expected to have prepared their draft. Then we find a way of merging it. So it's not a public document. It's a document for engagement when they are ready. Any other question? <coughs> Mr. Chiang. Whenever you have a dialogue, you must be careful what is said in the context of the dialogue and what is said outside. To the best of our knowledge, the team that has been appointed is yet to say anything. 
Those who have spoken are not part of the team, and therefore we do not find it necessary to respond to that. Uh, if you look at our statement, the ultimate paragraph, we have indicated that this is an extra-parliamentary process. And we have urged them to accept the text and spirit of the Constitution. Our Constitution requires that any engagement that affects the public, whether it uh, uh, you know, results in administrative, legislative, or constitutional changes, you must involve the public, there must be public consultation, and therefore there is no way you can have any process that is strictly parliamentary. It can end up in parliament ultimately, but it cannot be strictly parliamentary. In any event, we have just said that the process was initiated by our principles. Our own principle is not in parliament. So to say it's a strictly parliamentary process is defeatist, because it would suggest that it was initiated inside of parliament, and yet it wasn't. Yes. Uh, let me start with your second question. As is clear from our statement, the cost of living, especially reduction in Unga, Fuel, and others, is our priority number one. We expect to raise it as the very first issue in our talks. We have never said that the talks will not start until. We have said it should be lowered immediately. We expect that when we start the engagement, that will be topic number one. Um, your first question was in terms of our engagement. Any political party must explain to its membership what it's doing. We had called for mass protests and it was going on. That was stood down. It is for us and the leadership of the party to engage and explain to its members that the reasons why we stood down the mass protest is the following, and the process that is going on is the following. We expect it to take about this kind of time, and if we succeed, fine. If we don't, what is the alternative? So these ones are not a continuation of the mass protest. These are consultations. That's why they are town halls and kamukunjis. They are not protests as we were doing before. So when we start engaging with our counterparts, we expect to make them understand that even for them, it is okay for them to keep engaging with their electorate and their followers and explain their position.